This is unironically a fix for terrible 1% lows and stutters in Warzone. You're gonna have to follow along. Make sure you download MSI Afterburner and click that you also want to download Rivatuner Statistics when you're doing the download process for it. Rivatuner Statistics is how we're actually gonna be fixing every issue that Warzone has with 1% lows. Right before we get into it, I really have to thank this guy for showing me the fix. He came in clutch and now all of you can enjoy the benefits of it too. All of the testing you're about to see was done in a single cut in a single match. I was running full screen borderless just so I can switch between screens a lot easier, but this works on full screen also. As you can see, I'm running uncapped FPS right now, and my FPS is going anywhere between 270, 280 to 250, and the 1% lows, not great. Don't mind that, that was uh, just some server problems, but uh, yeah. My 1% lows are at 144 when my frame rate is completely uncapped, but if we go into Riva Tuner statistics and type in a frame cap, Watch what happens. So I slapped it to 250 and check this out. Now suddenly my 1% lows are significantly better. What you're going to notice is that my 1% lows are only significantly better if I'm able to hold above the frame cap limit that I set. So if my PC is theoretically capable of 270 and I'm limiting it to 250, in that case the 1% lows are going to be incredible because it's able to queue frames and in that scenario, you won't have terrible 1% lows or stutters anymore because the queued frames would just, you know, fill in over there. But just in case it wasn't clear enough, I'm going to set my frame cap limit to 300. And I cannot reach 300 FPS in this area, meaning it will not be queuing frames. Watch what happens. My 1% lows are absolute garbage again because I'm not hitting anywhere near to 300 FPS. So the second you're not able to queue frames anymore with a frame cap limit, the frame cap limit will make no difference. If you set it too high, your 1% lows won't be affected at all. So let's say you get 220 FPS all across the map and you never see it go below that. What you want to do is set your frame limit to 220 and suddenly your 1% lows are absolutely stellar, basically the same as your averages because you're, you have enough queued frames to never have any drop in FPS. This will entirely be map dependent. So on a Sheikah where you would get more frames, but also the map variance in frame rate is much larger, this would be totally different. To be entirely honest with you though, a Sheikah 1% lows aren't bad to begin with, so it doesn't particularly matter, but you need to be very aware of what frames you're getting to set an adequate limit. Say you get 240 FPS, you never see it dip below that, you would set it to 240 FPS, and that way your 1% lows would be stellar. Let's say you cannot get above 190 FPS, uh, or and you're roughly between 160 to 190 FPS, you would set it to 150 FPS, and then your 1% lows would be at around 140, because it's able to queue that frame rate. So yes, there's not much to this video, to be honest with you guys. You just set the frame limit based on the frames you know you get on a specific map, and boom shakalaka, your 1% lows are freaking spectacular again. And it's all thanks to a random guy in the YouTube section that just found the fix and decided to share it with me. I thank him very much because now I can share this with all of you. As a fair note, don't set it too high because if you set it too high, you'll slowly begin to negate your 1% low performance gains. So you need to just be able to reach that frame rate consistently, hold a consistent frame rate, and then your 1% lows would also be stellar. Make sure you use Riva Tuner Statistics, as I know it's the one that works, and I have not tried with anything else, so I cannot guarantee it would work with anything else other than Riva Tuner Statistics. If this does end up helping your performance and making your game feel smoother and not stutter, please consider liking and subscribing, as that's the best way you can help me out right now. Make sure to leave a comment letting me know about your experience with Riva Tuner Statistics and limiting your FPS, and let me know if it helped. I'm quite curious, but I've tried this on three computers already, and it's consistently worked, so it should work for you guys too. Anyway guys, I've got like a four hour car road trip to do right now, so I definitely have to go, but I wanted to get this emergency video out specifically so I can help everybody out a little bit more. This game is optimized like trash, so, you know, if a little setting like this can suddenly help everybody out, I'm more than glad to share it instantaneously the second I find out about it. Anyway guys, I hope I see you again next time, and have a good one. Enjoy!